All the components from this carburetor are going to go in that bag. So all the parts from that carb. I'll put in here a cable. Screwdriver. This screwdriver works good for this carburetor, for these carburetor bolts. Residue down in there, which I expected. Needle is going with the opening towards here, towards the pivot. Turn on the socket. Like some more gas coming out. There's a the screen. They're usually toast. Yeah, that one's pretty bad too. It's actually collapsed. It looks a little crusty too. I saw it three turns. Dump that out. Down there. Mark his bag 3x. Yep. And this one I had to notch out so it would clear the throttle. Good. Looks pretty good. Maybe I didn't clean this up real good because I wasn't sure if it was actually going to run again. That's a fighter. Mm. 
That one's toast too. There it is. If you're looking for this tool, this is actually a Tecumseh tool. Say 670377. Used to use them to pull the needles or pull the seats out of the carburetors on Tecumseh's. But it works good for this. Let's make sure I don't lose that. I'm just going to get the washer out. There's the washer. There's the air ring. Now all I've got to do is put her in the tank. Clean everything up. Put her back together. This is what the parts for the throttle side look before going into the cleaner. That's what everything looks like after it's been through the ultrasonic cleaner. Here's the carburetors. Now that I've got everything stripped down and cleaned, I'm going to start putting them back together. This first thing I'll do is put my new jets in. Oh, I did get a sticker. See that? There's a 125 and a 40 and then a couple shims for this. So, let's take a look at our original jets. It's a 40. Someone might have rejetted this once before. You can see that, but that is a 120. I'm putting a 125 in, slightly bigger. 125 and a 40. So we're going from a 125 or a 120 up to a 125, slightly bigger. And we're sticking with the 140 in the other one. See if they actually put a shim in here before. Looks like they did. Oh yeah, they did mod this. The stock one doesn't have all these grooves on it. So go down in there. Okay. This is the throttle side.
Go. Make sure that that's operating okay. It's going to be operating good. Now I'm feeling this one was also done. Well, why did they have that on the top? Should be on the bottom. And in there. Okay, now we got all this put in. I'm going to get the needle and seat and make sure both of these are still working properly. Yep, that's good. That's good. Two needle and seat kits. I'm not going to be using all these O rings, I don't believe. Our KL kit, part number 1818 dash 5101 for the VT700 and it also fits the uh, VT750 Float level is in. According to the book, the original front jet was a 115. And we moved that up to a 125. And then the slow jet, which I guess is your idle mixture jet, was 40. So we're sticking with the 40 and went up to a 125. 700 was actually uh, 120. You see there was a plastic piece on the original one. I do believe the original pin. And there we go, float level. 7.5 millimeters. It's the same as the uh, VT700 instead of 86. They raised it up a little bit. So let me get my gauge. I'll set it to 7.58, something like that. Okay, the way the book tells you to do this is you're supposed to, it shouldn't be the whole way up like this, it should be just half the weight on the spring, it should be about right there, slide this in, it should slide right up over top, and it, that looks pretty damn close to me, pretty darn close, so I'm going to close that one up.
hopefully flip her over. Get the idle mixture screw. And find the washer. A tiny little washer. So I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spring on there. The washer. Shouldn't fall off. What I'm going to do is work it in there. Okay, tighten that down so it bottoms out. Don't over tighten it. And we'll go pay attention to this here. There's one. Two and there's three. Three turns out. It should give us a good baseline. Put my choke in, my pull off. Rotate that around so the throttle clear or clears the throttle. And I like the fact that there's no O ring on that, but. on the seat. Don't over tighten the new needle and the float and the pin. And we'll put it with the open side. Away from the float. Chance of them falling off that way. See how this one's set? Hopefully, about the same. Feels pretty good. Let's see if that made any difference. I think it's too much now. Yeah. It doesn't go, it doesn't take much to go from being good and being off one way and then back off another way. and it's good. Need the replacement gasket. or air mixture screw back in. Okay, spring, washer. flush I'm 
Come back around three turns. One. There's two. There's three. There we go. Now everything should be back together. I can put her back on the motorcycle.